the James Webb Telescope has essentially reported the clearest picture of Proxima b in history, revealing shocking disclosures concerning this possibly tenable exoplanet. Go along with us as we set out on an undertaking through space to reveal the secrets of Proxima b and see if it very well may be the next Earth. We should take off into the tremendous span of space, where a bewildering planet exists in the livable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet isn't just any normal rock. It's Earth's cousin. Proxima b, found just 4.2 light-years from us, is covered in mystery and wonder. Might it at some point be another Earth with seas and life gushing out over its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima b isn't alone in its orbit around the red dwarf star. It has a solitary companion, Proxima Centauri c, which might uncover even more secrets the star system holds. Maybe there's another friend that we haven't found yet. The mystery doesn't end there. Proxima Centauri begets almost the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this truly mean there's water on its surface? Maybe life as we know it could exist beyond our solar system. As we venture farther into space, we encounter an entirely new universe of exoplanets. Planets that orbit stars other than the Sun. With 200 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone, the opportunities for exoplanets are endless. Some even wander through space untethered to any star, like maverick explorers. Among them, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a genuinely amazing and puzzling planet. With a year lasting just 11.2 Earth days, its distance from its star is much closer than Earth's distance from the Sun. This means that one side of the planet is endlessly bathed in light while the other remains in eternal darkness. Now, let's investigate Proxima Centauri, the star around which Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Alpha Centauri A and B, two G and K-type stars that appear as one in the constellation Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky. Proxima Centauri, also called Alpha Centauri C, is a red dwarf or M-type star, found 4.24 light-years from the other two stars, making it the closest star to our solar system. Proxima Centauri means the closest star in Latin and was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn. Despite being the closest star to us, Proxima Centauri remains invisible to the naked eye due to its apparent magnitude of plus 11.13 far beyond the limit of human vision. However, don't let that fool you, Proxima Centauri is still a star worth studying. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are among the most efficient in terms of energy production. While they may not emit much light, the convection process at their cores keeps them shining for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will remain a main sequence star for another four trillion years. But the habitability of a red dwarf like Proxima Centauri is still debated. For one, it's a flare star, which means it undergoes frequent and erratic eruptions. As a low-mass star, its habitable zone would be much closer to it than the sun's, likely between 0.23 and 54 cents. But even this zone might not be as hospitable as it seems. Proxima b might not have a stable atmosphere, which is crucial for maintaining conditions suitable for liquid water on its surface. Without this stability, life would be vulnerable to space weather, making it almost impossible for life to thrive. So, while Proxima b might seem Earth-like on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. Still, many continue to hold hope. One instrument that has caught the attention of astronomers is the James Webb Telescope. After several delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and will help determine whether there is life on Proxima b. However, as with everything in science, things are never as clear-cut as they seem. Various adjustments were necessary to ensure the James Webb Telescope could deliver accurate images. As Abby Twist, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains, if a planet like Proxima b absorbs light from its star, it can also remit that light as infrared radiation. The James Webb Telescope was specifically designed to detect infrared light allowing it to capture images of this radiation on the planet's surface and search for patterns that could confirm whether the planet has water or an atmosphere. But what if the planet's atmosphere isn't suitable for life? The presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could be like Venus, with a thick atmosphere, 
far denser than Earth's, resulting in extreme heat that would make life impossible. The mission to uncover the truth about Proxima b isn't without its challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, there are many factors to consider. With costs mounting, space researchers are feeling the pressure to figure out how to study planets like Proxima b. The stakes are high, but the rewards are even greater. The opportunity for a brief glimpse into the unknown to uncover the mysteries of a distant planet that could hold the potential for life is one any serious scientist would pursue. But can we even travel to Proxima b? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it exciting. It's almost like exploring our cosmic backyard. Even more intriguing is the fact that it's nearly the same size as Earth. Its position in the habitable zone means it might actually have conditions for life as we know it. Proxima b's proximity also makes it a viable target for our search for life beyond Earth. At just 4.2 light years away, it's an ideal candidate for interstellar missions. Now, consider the possibility of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. However, we can't go there just yet. But it's certainly on the radar for future missions, as technology advances, making it more accessible. It's one of the most exciting prospects in the field of space exploration. However, it's no simple task to get there. It would take 75,000 years for spacecraft like the Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. However, a proposal has been made involving solar sails, ultra-thin sails that could be used to accelerate a spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system and Proxima along with it. This technology uses solar pressure to keep the spacecraft on course, eliminating the problem of running out of fuel. With expected speeds of 10 to 20% of the speed of light, the journey to the Alpha Centauri system could be reduced to just 20 years. The discovery of Proxima b has reignited humanity's interest in space exploration. It has given us a renewed sense of hope that we are not alone in the universe. The James Webb Telescope is a marvel of modern technology, capable of taking us all the way back to the very beginning of the universe, 13.7 billion years ago. This is the carefully preserved secret. The farther an object is, the longer it takes for light to reach us. This means the James Webb Telescope can observe objects in the universe farther away than any other telescope before it. Additionally, it can detect these objects in longer wavelengths of infrared light, allowing us to see more distant stars with greater clarity than ever before. And here's something even cooler. This incredible technology can provide insight into the possibility of life on other planets, like Proxima b. However, just like with anything, there are some notable limitations. The presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee life. Proxima b could be like Venus with a thick, inhospitable climate. But get this, the James Webb Telescope can detect such environments if they reach a brightness of only 5% of the planet's dayside. While 5% might not seem like much, it's actually quite significant when dealing with a star that's generally dimmer than our sun. If Proxima b has intelligent life, they might be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side of the planet to the night side. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes, with some being enormous gas giants while others resemble our own Earth. One type of exoplanet that has caught the attention of space specialists is the gas giant. These planets are similar in structure to Jupiter and Saturn but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been named Super Jupiters, surpassing even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also hot Jupiters, gas giants that orbit incredibly close to their host star. They exist in a scorching environment with temperatures high enough to melt metal. Imagine being able to observe such a planet up close, with its seething storms and intense heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, which are similar in size to Uranus and Neptune. Among these are hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, making their atmospheres difficult to study from afar. Furthermore, let's not forget terrestrial exoplanets, those that resemble our own Earth. These planets come in various sizes, from smaller than Earth to twice its size. There are also super-Earths, which have masses greater than twice that of our planet but are lighter than Neptune. One of the most fascinating exoplanets discovered recently is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. 
This planet is classified as a super-Earth with a rocky mass seven times that of Earth. Despite being near its host star, it is still far enough away to be considered outside the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b isn't alone. It has a companion, Proxima Centauri c, which orbits farther from the star. This planet has an orbital period of around five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. What's even more interesting about Proxima C is that it appears to be a very bright world, possibly due to the presence of a ring system. There are more discoveries yet to be made in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers identified a change in the star's rotation rate, which could be the result of another planetary companion. If confirmed, this planet would be known as Proxima Centauri d and would be roughly the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine a reality where the night sky is filled with stars, as well as countless other planets, each with its unique characteristics and orbits. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made all the time, it's an exciting time to be an astronomer. While we don't yet have an exact count of exoplanets, we do know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Exoplanets aren't easily detectable. It takes advanced technology and powerful telescopes to spot them. These planets are often obscured by the glare of their host stars, making them difficult to study. However, with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible. For an exoplanet to be directly imaged, it must be large enough to be visible by the telescope, far enough from its host star to avoid being hidden by its glare, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of exoplanets that can currently be directly imaged, but they offer a fascinating glimpse into the properties and formation of these distant worlds. Exoplanets are typically discovered through the effects they have on their host stars. The gravitational pull of an exoplanet can cause its star to wobble, and this change in the star's movement can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes in front of it. This technique has provided a wealth of data about exoplanets, including their size, distance, and temperature. Here are a few interesting facts. Did you know that over 22% of stars, like the Sun, have Earth-sized planets in their habitable zones? Or that TRAPPIST-1 is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces? Exoplanets in our solar system can also have natural satellites, known as exomoons. With over 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, with their enormous size and rapid rotation, are the easiest to detect, but there are countless other exoplanets waiting to be discovered. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is unveiling the mysteries of the universe, one discovery at a time. The telescope has been gathering data and capturing stunning images of the universe revealing previously unknown wonders. Recently, it made a groundbreaking discovery that will forever change our understanding of the universe. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing incredible images and collecting data about the universe. The breathtaking photographs of star systems and dust clouds swirling and crashing into one another are truly mesmerizing. The discoveries keep coming in. A global team of space specialists used the telescope to compile a detailed catalog of the coldest ice ever observed in a molecular cloud. They identified frozen versions of various molecules, including carbon disulfide, ammonia, and methane, as well as some common organic molecules like methanol and water.